Hey, I'm Steve with Exo Mountain Gear, and this is our crib accessory. We call it the crib load panel. It's really a pretty tough accessory to talk about in a short video because it has a lot of adjustability and versatility, uh, but we're gonna try to tackle it here for you. Uh, first, this is the, the crib as it'll come shipped. It also comes shipped with four quick attach buckles. And so those are uh, to go to these loops that you see on the side here. The reason we don't attach them to them uh, the, before we ship it to you is because if you mount it to the pack and you're running it between the bag and the frame, those buckles that you would be clipping to actually go back to the bag. So this is an option if you're gonna run this, if you're gonna run the crib to pack out meat only without the bag, you're gonna put these quick attach buckles on. So the crib itself is basically just this long skinny panel. We did put pleats into this so that as you're wearing it on the frame, it can kind of wrap around the meat or whatever you're strapping to the pack and you're gonna notice uh, loops that are sewn here and here, and that's actually so you can attach our Slurpee stock or bladder carrier to it. So if you are just hauling meat and you're going, or you're going back in to get another load of meat, you can throw the Slurpee stocker on there and take water and snacks with you. Uh, so to attach it to the pack, basically all you gotta do is take the bag off the frame, so I'll do that real quick. I'm gonna pop off the buckles on each side. Pull off the load lifter straps up top. This is our 2000 bag. The process is the exact same on all of them. Peel up the Velcro. Then the bag's gonna drop away from the frame. And you've got this compression strap here. And you're gonna see on the side here, you've got these two one inch ladder lock buckles. So I'm gonna take the bottom, so you're gonna have a logo here and you've got this bottom flap and it's basically gonna fold up and under like that. So you're just gonna have the, this side with the binding facing out and I'm gonna thread it onto these buckles. Now, once you have it threaded on, depending on the load, you can actually adjust the height of this. So if I want this to sit right here, I can. If I've got a bigger load, I want to drop it down lower, I can do that as well. Or if I really want to get it up high, I'll bring these all the way to the top. And as a general rule, we want you to keep the, the majority of your weight sitting as high as possible. That way, the weight is distributing down into your hips and it's not sitting down below your butt where it's pulling on you. From there, I've just got the one inch G hooks here that are going to pop into these loops that are sewn right at the top. You're gonna see them right next to your load lifter ladder locks, and those just simply slide on. So pop that one on. Go to the other side, pop the other side on. And once those are on, that's basically how you can envision that you would have you know, some meat strapped in here. Uh, and from there, you can run this just like that. If I wanted to take the bag off, I just undo these two pieces of webbing, the bag would de detach so I could run the crib by itself. You can also just leave it hanging right here and bring the bag up and over and basically just have it sandwiched in between the bag and the frame at all times. Lastly, you can take this and run it as a beaver tail, meaning that you can take the crib, sit, run it through the compression straps here on the bottom and put it out. So I'll show you how to do that. So I would just take the hooks back off and then basically I'm gonna feed it through the opening here in the bottom of the bag. And it does get pinched together a little bit. If I'm running as a beaver tail, I'm gonna loosen these straps all the way up so it can wrap around the bag. So I'm gonna take the bag now and put it back up over the top of the frame. And you just got to make sure that the loops up on top here pop out. And so now I can take the crib and run it all the way around the front. So I can hook that up and over like that. So in that scenario, you know, you can use that for attaching just kind of any numerous things to the outside of the pack. I uh, had a guy send me a picture packing a snowboard the other day where he stuck it in sideways and had this thing strapped on the backside of it. So 
Uh, yeah, that's pretty much the crib in a nutshell. It's a really cool, versatile accessory. Only weighs five and a half ounces. Uh, definitely highly recommend one. For more information, you can check it out at exomountaingear.com.